bond duration is more than just a number. It's a toolkit for understanding risk, strategy and sensitivity in fixed income investing. Let's break down seven types of duration and how they're used. Welcome back to Finance Ratios. Today we're exploring the different types of bond duration from Macaulay to spread duration and their real-world applications. Whether you're studying for CFA Level 2 or managing a bond portfolio, this video has got you covered. Let's jump right in. First up is Macaulay duration. This measures the weighted average time it takes to receive a bond's cash flows. Think of it as a time-weighted metric. For example, if a bond has a Macaulay duration of five years, it means the average time to recover the bond's cash flows is five years. It's useful for theoretical analysis, but less practical for real-world trading. Modified duration is an adjusted version of Macaulay duration that accounts for the bond's yield to maturity. It measures the bond's price sensitivity to interest rate changes. For example, a modified duration of 4 means that if interest rates increase by 1%, the bond's price will drop by 4%. This is a go-to metric for assessing interest rate risk. Next is effective duration. This is used for bonds with embedded options like callable or putable bonds. It accounts for potential changes in cash flows when interest rates shift. Key rate duration measures sensitivity to changes in interest rates at specific maturities along the yield curve. Dollar duration converts modified duration into a dollar amount showing how much a bond's price will change in monetary terms for a 1% change in interest rates. Spread duration measures a bond's price sensitivity to changes in its credit spread over the risk-free rate. When managing a portfolio, weighted average duration aggregates the individual durations of all bonds weighted by their market values. So, how are these durations used in real life? Interest rate risk management modified duration helps estimate how price changes with rates. Portfolio hedging dollar duration is crucial for balancing portfolios against interest rate movements. Yield curve strategies. Key rate duration helps investors position portfolios for specific rate changes. Credit risk analysis. Spread duration highlights the impact of credit spread fluctuations. To recap, Macaulay duration measures time. Modified duration measures price sensitivity. Effective duration handles bonds with options. Key rate duration focuses on specific yield curve changes. Dollar duration and spread duration add precision to portfolio management. And that's your crash course on bond duration. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your study group or fellow investors. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.